Hello. How are you guys? Hello. Good evening, everyone. Okay, good. Here's the other. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I was trying to fix the other set, the headset that seems to be more comfortable, but it doesn't want to work. Okay, guys. How was the day? Good, excellent, terrible, better than yesterday. Okay, Julissa Vez. Tenía días de no verla. Where were you? Okay, who else? Natalie. Hello, Juan. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Natalie. Okay. And we have Kevin. Now let's check. Hello. Hello, Gabby. Okay, this is the last one we read yesterday about uh, Ricky Martin. Okay, so we were talking about him. And then I um, want to play it back for you to, to remember the pronunciation and see if you have another question about the vocabulary. Let me share the... computer sound. 71. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish-language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Live in La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. I want to do this forever. 71. He was always a performer. Okay. Um, As a child, he appeared in television. I don't like this. Get out of here. Okay, good. Uh, Jorge, would you please read the first paragraph? Then, uh, Gabby, you read the second paragraph. 
Okay. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercial and studied singing. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with Tim at the become very well known, but left the group after five years. Thank you very much. Okay, Natalie, can you read the next one? Martin, Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated so he moved to Mexico City and got a part of a Mexican soap, soap paper. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved, moved back to the US. To the US, thank you. Uh, Jose Lina? But, but yeah. in the US, he, but the US, the US, he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Les Miserables. Let's mm -hmm. Then he made his English language ambo. Okay, good. And Juan, read the next one, please. The album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on the album. That album. Okay, that good. Album. Thank you. Then a uh, cutting, please read the last paragraph. Now he's fam, fam, no, fam, famous. famous around the world, but he style war hard and the style loves seeing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper you use, use today, I want to do this forever. Okay, very good. Now, now that you see, for example, good pronunciation, everybody, nice. And any questions about vocabulary? Do you understand it? Like in Spanish? ¿Se entiende como que se lo vieran en español? Algunos párrafos, sí. Hay okay. unas que todavía no logro con el oído es que saber qué palabra es la que se está pronunciando. Ok, pronunciar. A la hora de escuchar, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero en el significado. Sí, sí. No problem. No. Ok, good. Ok, then let's, uh, I'm going to read it slowly then so that you can pay attention to that. Right, it says, Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24th, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band, Menudo. He worked hard with them and he became very well known, but he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was, very, uh, he was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After his success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Less Miserable. Then he made his first English language album. 
that album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Okay, so then um, this is what you can do uh, you know, to practice, right? To practice estos párrafos. Eh, mientras tengan acceso a esta plataforma, then you can, pueden escucharlos cinco, seis, ya. no importa la cantidad de veces. Eh, que entre más sientan ustedes que los está bombardeando esto, mejor van a ir comprendiendo al escuchar, ¿verdad? Porque eso es de acostumbrar el oído, eh, listening, 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 no other choice, ¿verdad? no hay otra alternativa. Ok. Then, uh, let's see the, the four questions about him, okay? And this is the, compre the comprehension, right? Uh, Sarai, can you read the question, please? When was Ricky Martin born? Okay, when was Ricky Martin born? Do you remember when he was born? San Juan, Puerto Rico. And no. The, and the year? Ah, la fecha. 24 de diciembre. In English? Oh, 24th. December 24th. December 24th. December 24th, okay. And the year? 1970. 19th, 71. 71. Okay. Then we can say in San Juan, Puerto Rico. No, right? On December 24th, 1971. Okay. Now, read the next question, please. Uh, uh, Julissa, Julissa. Uh, Okay, then, um, Carlos, can you read question two? Where was Ricky Martin born? Okay. Where was he born? In San Juan, born. Puerto Rico. Now we say in San Juan, Puerto Rico. There you go. Good. And Jessica, can you read number three? Hola. Can you read, could you read question number three? How old? How old is? Las opciones puede ponerlas, por No, just read the question first. How old? Like, let me go. Eh, a los 12, eh, 12 eh, a los 12, okay. a los 12 años. No, le, la idea aquí, aquí es ahorita, lea la pregunta. No la respuesta. Ah, perdón. How old, how, how old was Ricky Martin when the, he joined the Latin boy band menu? Exactly, right? So they say, how old was Ricky Martin when he joined the Latin boy band menu? You see, for example, there are many words. Aquí hay bastante eh, palabra porque son dos preguntas. Sí. En una, right? You say, how old was Ricky Martin? Okay. Uh, when he joined the Latin boy, uh, Latin boy band menu. Okay. He was. There we have the question. He, he was, was 12 years old. 12 years old. Okay. Pero se responde la primera, right? Okay, well, how old was Ricky Martin? 12. Uh, in what moment when he joined the Latin boy band menu? Okay? Porque si solo se preguntara, when did he join the Latin boy band menu? Podría decirse in 1983. Pero no sabríamos cuántos años tiene. O tenía, perdón. Okay, pero aquí sí, 
Tenemos las dos preguntas. How old was he when he joined? He was 12. Y si um, analizamos, y si unimos la información de que nació en el 71, ¿en qué año se unió entonces a menudo? En 1983. Uh -huh, exacto. Right. 1983. Entonces ella se va sacando las conclusiones, right? In, in English and Spanish. Now, uh, the next question, please, uh, Jorge, George, you please read it. Uh, why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Okay, why did he move? Because he, because was, he was frustrated. frustrated. Because he was, you know, frustrated, right? He was frustrated. And then he felt like going back I mean to Mexico and after he returned to the United States because many artists they want to they want to make uh, music in English because there is more money right there's more money but sometimes it's not easy it's not easy to get into that market when cuando when mm -hmm. when cuando okay Vean bien las preguntas y vean si hay alguna duda del significado o de pronunciación o algo. I don't have good. Okay. Okay, Julissa. I understand. Thank you. Sí, a veces eso pasa. Que, ¿Saben que hay señales que a veces. Que, En algunas plataformas a mí me toca apagar mi cámara para poder transmitir eh, algún video o algo. Eh, no sé, imagino que debe haber algún algo en las plataformas, right? That happens. Y sí, a veces las señales del equipo, different things. Puedo hacer un comentario. Yes. Ante la duda de que eh, nos preguntamos. Cómo hacer la pregunta de cuántos años tiene. Uh -huh. A mí me sirvió el hecho siempre de ver la palabra how. Uh -huh. Porque how me ayudó como anagrama a ver how or was. Uh -huh. O sea, how or was. Exactly. Eso que acaba de decir Carlos es, una, es un buen tip. Porque, por ejemplo, a... Uh, Hay quienes les ayuda, hay, uno tiene que buscar estrategias también, ¿verdad? Porque a veces cuando uno, cuando uno está expuesto al idioma a diario, a veces el solamente el oír la estrategia, el oír y estar ahí escuchando que le estén pidiendo que haga uno algo, tiene que ver cómo lo hace. Entonces, eso en, en cierta forma es parte de esa estrategia, pero cuando no, O sea, ¿cómo hago para acordarme del significado de esto, o de aquí, de allá? Entonces, este, ahí creo que, que funciona, por ejemplo, va a decir el how, el how old, por ejemplo, el how va con muchas eh, palabras acompañadas y los significados cambian. Por ejemplo, ¿qué tan seguido? ¿Cómo dirían eso? Creo que ya lo vieron, no me recuerdo. How often. How often, ajá. ¿eh? Va con los eh, adverbios de frecuencia, ¿ok? How often do you take a shower? How often, for example, how often was uh, was he in the school? How often was uh, your father uh, your father uh, mad at you? ¿Qué tan seguido se enojaba su papá con usted? How often was your father mad at you? And then uh, how old? And then you say, for example, the, another one that you can use is how much? Creo que también ya lo vieron, ¿verdad? How much, cuánto, and how many, cuántos. Ok, hay frases que es de aprenderse, ok. Porque vi que en este caso diríamos, how many years was Ricky. Eso sería en español, ¿verdad? pensando en español. Pero no se dice cuántos años, sino que how old was he, about the age. Ok, eso ajá, sirve mucho para how old was. Always find, try to find an, uh, an strategy. 
Good. Then. I think there is another one, but doesn't let me know. Yes, the next one is the the final sum. And I want it to. Let me just um, for example, have you ever heard about a? I don't know, write it here. I guess you have. This is the oh. This is one. Okay. Have you heard about this lady? Yes. Okay. What do you know about her? She have a program in the USA. Uh -huh. What kind of program? I don't know. It is about... Um, help for the other persons exactly right so it was a, like a, how do you call this ones they call them talk shows yeah okay so talk shows on the la gente habla de many different issues right about different things and and some of them are good some of them are are not so good but this lady is very famous in the United States because she did um, uh, some, uh, how can I call this? Uh, interesting things in her life. Okay. Por ejemplo, ella rebajaba y enseguido. Era bastante gordita, rellenita. Y de repente rebajaba. Y eso como que entusiasmaba a la gente. La inspiraba. Right, so this is something that is very nice. Okay. Conocen ustedes a alguien más? That you can say it about these people? For example, um, Michael Jackson. What do you know about Michael Jackson? Singer. Singer. Okay. What else? Hmm. Okay, good. Um, bye. Dancing. He was a dancer. He was a dancing. Uh -huh, he was a good dancer. Dancing. Okay, he was a good dancer. Uh -huh. King of pop. In the king of pop. Oh, uh -huh. the, he was he was the king of pop music, right? Or at least that was the people call it. Okay, call him the king of pop music. Okay. See if we can share a little bit. Okay, of this guy. Yeah, 
They have a, he was born in 1958, look. American singer, actor, dancer, and businessman. His songs were Thriller, Bill Jean, Bid It, Heal the World, Bad, Black or White, First Marriage, Lisa Mary Presley, the Divorce, 1996, Second Marriage, The Origin Both, Divorce, 1999, Children 2, Songs and a Daughter, Death, 25th, uh, 2009, June 25th, of Drug Intoxication. The King of Pop, this is what Carlos was saying, right? And then we have Elvis Presley. Okay, we said that uh, birth, January 8, 1935, nationality, American, nickname, the King of Rock. Okay, this was the king of pop, and this was the king of rock and roll. Okay, or the king. Again, the singer and actor, songs, Love Me Tender, Can Help Falling In Love, Always On My Mind. Instruments, well, the vocals, voice, guitar, and piano. Marriage, Priscilla and the Lou, divorce, 1973. Daughter, Lisa Marie. And if you see, Lisa Marie was the first wife of Michael Jackson. So there was a relation, right? So 1968. Lisa Marie was married to, to Michael Jackson also. She was like 32 years old. And then you have, uh, this is, okay, Whitney Houston. Okay, it says birth, August 9, 1963. Okay, nationality American, singer and actress, saving all my love for you. I wanna dance with somebody. I will always love you. Movies, The Bodyguard with Kevin Costner. The Preacher's Wife, Marriage, 1972. Uh, Bobby Brown, Divorce. 2007, so she got divorced. And children, uh, one daughter, Bobby Christina, 19, 1993. And she died in February 11, 2012, of drowning in her hotel room. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, that, this is some uh, information, right, about these singers. Uh, now we can use the who uh, if, uh, Michael Jackson, yes. Michael Jackson had a very difficult. I guess that all the all the actors uh, what about Robbie Williams? What do you know about Robin uh, Robin Williams? Do you remember? He was a uh, actor. Mm -hmm. It was a comedian. A comedian and actor, yes. Uh -huh. What movies? What movies was he in, or what movies did he did he act in? Jumanji. Jumanji, yes, very nice movie. Jumanji. Mm -hmm. Peter Pan. Peter Pan, yes. Uh -huh. He was. The, the Miss Mrs. Rob. Miss Dot Fire. Dot Fire. Dot Fire. Dot Fire. Uh -huh. Yes. He was the actor in Mrs. Dot Fire too. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who else? The Millennium Man. Oh, yes. No, Bicentennial? No. Bicentennial. Bicentennial. Uh -huh. Man. Yeah, Bicentennial Man, something like that, yes. Uh -huh. Well, he's a robot. Uh -huh. He's a robot kind of human. Uh -huh. What else do you know about Robin, I mean, Robin Williams? He was a good actor. He acted. You see, past tense. He was a good actor. He acted in uh, in good movies. Uh, he also he was he was very charismatic, right? He was very charismatic. He had this he had this charisma. Associated and, poet. Ah uh, yes, the dead. Uh, that was the dead society poets. Uh -huh, yes, that was another one. And. How did he die?
I don't remember. He died in his house, I guess, but I don't remember how. Yeah. He suicide. Uh, yes, he committed. Yes, he committed suicide. He committed suicide. Uh -huh, yes, that's true. Thank you, Jose. So he committed suicide. So you see, it's a, also a very difficult life, right? Because apparently, these people have money. They have, a, apparently, they don't have pro, uh, economical problems or other problems, but you know, sometimes Ay, to, okay. uh, yeah, many people die. Okay, another actor or actress? For example, what about Madonna? Madonna was her emblematic woman. When was her she, best she, moment? Uh -huh. Queen. Queen. The queen, queen of what? The queen of pop. The queen of pop. pop. And when was, when was her best or her highest point in music? I like a <laughs> When she's like a virgin, yes. Uh -huh. In the border name? Borderline? Borderline. Yes, borderline. I think that was the first one, right? Borderline. <laughs> that was the first one. Ah, la Bonita, yes, that was in the 80s, 90s, okay, 80s, 90s, that was, that was her best time, okay, you know, that was her best moment, 80s, 90s, uh, uh, Papa Don't Preach, that was another one, right, Papa Don't Preach, um, what else, but there was, there was, which one? Exit. Uh, crazy for you. Crazy for you. Yes, that's another one. Yes, I didn't remember that one. Okay, so you see that's, uh, for example, the talking about these actors and actresses, you know, in those, uh, let's say, long, long time ago, right? Uh, another one that you, okay, groups. So that we can practice uh, where? Groups, for example, the... Aquí solo jovencito, Brian. Then that's. No puedo, no puedo hablar de mi grupo. Chicago. Who remembers Chicago? Okay. ¿Ah? Aunque sea que lo hayan oído por su papá, va. Que no lo oyeron directamente, ni así. ¿Qué? ¿Sí? <laughs> José Lino, o sea, a saber de qué está hablando. <laughs> yes. ¿Cuál es el grupo más. Antiguo, the oldest group that you remember, Jose. What is group? Okay, group I heard it about Chicago. Uh -huh. eh, este, well, who's the other one? The police. Police. Well, police is in the 90s. Queen. Yeah, it is the police de los 80s. Yes. <laughs> Sería pecado. Sí, pues está, está jovencita. ¿eh? Doors. The door, okay, the door, for example, the doors is the 70s. Um, ¿Quién vio un concierto de los doors? Ah, ni yo lo vi. Uh, the Beatles. The Beatles. Uh -huh. The Beatles también. Okay, Led for example. Led Zeppelin. Uh -huh. Which one was the Lino? Led Zeppelin. Yes, but you know the music, right? The Led Zeppelin music, okay. You know, the Beatles were, uh, let's say, for example, they were uh, very famous. But when they came to America, okay, when they were, when they were in England, in Britain, mm, they were not very famous, okay. But when they they were famous in England, but when they came to America, there was a, you know that was the burst, the big explosion. Then they blast off. And then the, the the Beatles began to go. Everybody was the fever, you know, it was a fever, you know, with the Beatles in those days. So they were, but they were more famous when they arrived here in America. What else? You see, now we're practicing where, where. Uh, there was another group. Well, we had Chicago, we have Bread. The Rolling Stone. The Rolling Stone, yes, the Rolling Stone. Okay. 
Good, sorry. Black salad. Black salad. Yeah, super trunk. Hey, nice series. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I feel good. Ana tana. Santa Ana Carlos. Baby Bowie. I'm single. Baby Bowie. Open a catch. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Yeah, Pink Floyd. They were also, you know, the famous iconic song, right? You know, the, another brick on the wall. Credence. The Credence. 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 Beautiful music. Okay. That's uh, the poem music angelical, you know, Credence. What else? Queen. Um, Queen. Okay, Queen. Did you see the movie? Did you see the movie? Did you uh, yeah. Queen? Yes? Yes, I see. Yes. Okay, no, did, yet. I, think I saw it, I saw it, okay. Uh, did you like it? Uh, Jorge, you haven't seen it yet? Not yet. Oh my God, you don't know what you're missing. Nice, nice, nice movie. The music, it's nice. Okay, it's, I, yeah, I, you I, should I, watch it, you should watch it. It's entertaining, entertaining, entertaining uh, uh, movie. And the concert that they have, uh, I think it's, Eh, para ayudar a África y está en YouTube también es el concierto original y ahí lo reproducen en la película muy muy bien casi idéntico y hay muchos detalles que los del concierto original que lo comparan ustedes el video de YouTube se ven muchos de esos detalles en la, en la película ok what else what else what else Queens yeah Queen yeah no, no, no queens, sino que wins. Queens, queens, queens. Wins de Paul McCartney. Ah, yes. That was the, the wins. Uh -huh. Yes, the wins. The wins, yes. Paul McCartney. Yeah, Paul McCartney. Imagine he was an excellent singer too. And also composer because he wrote songs. Okay, who else? Ava. Ava, yes, they were, where, where, where were they from? Where were they from? Do you, anybody knows where was the group? England, where was England. England? No, no, they weren't. They weren't from England. Phil Collins and, and your band? Genesis. 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 Thank Genesis. you. Genesis. So, but Ava was from Sweden. Sweden, I guess. Yes, Sweden. Stockholm, Suecia. Uh huh. Yes, it's the poem. Okay. Then they, they were from Sweden. Yes, nice group. Very nice music. And yes, and then we had the Genesis and Phil Collins. The Carpenters. The Carpenters. Yes, Carol Carpenter. Yes, another excellent group. Okay, good. Then you see, and now in these days, in these days, what are the groups that we have? Si más cercanos, más recientes. The 90s? Oh, 2000. The basketball. Del 2000 para acá? The basketball. The Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. NC. <clears throat> Buster Boss is in the 90s. Uh, in sync. Mire, si los conozco, son de los 90. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Si no los conozco, ya del 2000. What else? No doubt. Which one? No doubt. Okay, ese es de los 2000. No, no. Black Eyed Peas. Black, yeah. yes, Black Eyed Peas, yes. Uh, yes, more or less the uh, 90s, 2000, yes. What else? Pink. Linkin Park. Link, ah, Linkin Park. Ah, you see now, Selena, yes, this is it. estamos en su mundo. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay, good. Linkin Park. Another one? Bon Jovi. Green. Bon Jovi. Metallica. Metallica, okay. Okay, so Aerosmith, okay. So all these groups, you know, were very famous in that time. And if you see also uh, music, music changes uh, some rhythm, but the 
the music probably from the 60s, 70s, 80s, y todavía en los 90s, eh, creo que ahí se quedó como la mejor preparación de música. Porque ahí todos los demás son, hay muchos remakes. Como que los sonidos hasta ahí llegaron. Ahora hay, hay otros ritmos. But not everybody likes that. Okay, boys. Thank you very much. That's the, I think it's, we talk a lot about music and groups and past tense. Now let's, uh, let's give a little review. Okay, then we have, for example, the, the listening. Let me see. Can you hear? Yes. Yes. Unit. So this one says uh, conversation, or it says listen to Helen and Mark conversation, and then select the best answer to the question. Remember that the, the idea here is that you um, uh, listen and at the same time that you are listening, you can check the questions. And if you have a piece of paper, then you can take notes, okay? Hmm. Oh, let me refresh it because units 13 to 14 quiz part a listen to helen and mark's conversations check the correct answers one hey mark where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay. Which ones are a little bit uh, probably confusing? Is it number one and the number three, right? For example, this one. Um, a bank and a department store. Mm -hmm. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. 
You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you, right? Yes, it's here, but um, it says department. Okay, so but it's department. Okay, there is a little mistake here. Again, this one. Where is the Smith's department store? On the corner of First and Main. On the corner of First and Main, yes. And uh, how do you get there? Well, down second to Main to right, right. This one? Creo. <laughs> Mm. Walk up second to main turn right. Yes, it says walk up. Uh huh. Walk up. But in the first one it says turn left, but in the second, uh, the, at the end, it says not turn right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And in this one? A what sweater. Is a sweater, right? At the end, he decides to go for a sweater. Okay. So, but then uh, what you can do is also open the audio here. Answer the question units from the platform, right? Then I think here there is no issues. Here you remember you have to again you want to enlarge the map and then you go back to the question the department store is and then you have the four options across from on between next to or on the corner of the bank the department store is across from the bank on the bank between the bank next to the bank on the corner of the bank here I those possibilities, right? Two possibilities. But if you go here, what is the bank? The bank is next to next to next to what? The the store is next to the bank. This one, City Bank. So the question is, uh, the department store is next to the bank. Yes. Sorry. You say department store next to the bank. Yes. So you can see here, for example, then you go to the map and then you're going to find it that way. Then Al's coffee shop is in relation to uh -huh. Across from the movie theater. Okay. Where is Al's coffee shop? All coffee shop is across from the movie theater. I don't see it. Is, this is a movie theater. Is, yes. um, oh. yeah. Bank and this one is Maria's. Restaurant. It's a corner of the main street and second avenue. Here? Um, no. And second avenue? No, no tengo. And main street. Main street. Shop is. I don't see. I don't see Al's coffee shop. I'm blind. Let me get. Ah, he's, he is. Okay, now yes. Okay, so then we here we have uh, Al's coffee shop. Then you have the options here. Across from. On. The movie theater. Between. 
next to on the corner of the movie theater. So next to no, between no, has to be across, across from, right? From. That's the only option you have. Okay. And the last one, Maria's restaurant is? On the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. And 2nd Avenue, that's correct. Okay. Yes, this is Maria's restaurant, corner of 2nd and Main Avenue. Okay, good. Then the next one. Select the best answer. Here it says, were your parents born in the US? You have, uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, okay. So you have to choose one in each one. So where were your parents born? Were your parents born in the US? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Okay, so yes, this one goes with this. And then where did you grow up? I grew up, I grew up in, Tokyo. in Tokyo. Okay, yes, very good. The crow group. Then you have, uh, who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. Was Mr. Sato. Okay, Sato. And you have, when did you come to New York? I, I came to, to New York, York in 1998. And then how was your first day in the US? It was a little scary. I, it was a little was, scary. Okay, good. So then how was, when did you come? Who was your first English teacher? Where did you grow up? Okay, and where you born? in the US, correct. Nice. Then you have the verbs and the match the verbs to the nouns. Then this is match the verb with the correct words or phrases. They so had, okay here, had, a, had photos, had picnic, had tennis, had a play or had swimming? Had a picnic. Go for had a picnic. Then uh, play. Play at tennis. Tennis. Play, play tennis. Play tennis. Took. Took photos. Took photos. Went. Went swimming. 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 So. So a play. A play. So, a play. In this case, a play is como una obra, ¿verdad? So, a play. Esas son frases ya están hechas. I had a picnic. Me fui de picnic. O fui a un picnic. Eh, play tennis. Okay. Obviously, jugué tennis. Took photos. Okay. Tomé fotos. Go swimming. O went swimming. Past tennis. Okay. I go swimming every day. I went swimming yesterday. And I, I saw a play, I saw a movie, I saw a nice program. Then we have the conversations. Uh, hasta el momento no hay dudas o preguntas de los temas que hemos visto y los ejercicios que están en el test. Okay. Okay, good. Then select the correct form of the verb to complete the sentences. Okay, we have to see if it is a good weekend. Did you have, did you have, or did you have? Did you have a good weekend? The second? Um, yeah, yes. Okay, good, the second, have. Not really, I studied, studied, Study or study? One, two, or three? Study it. One. Study it. One. Okay. Did they? Did, did they did? Did they do? Did they do? Did they do anything they last do? weekend? Okay. Yes, they? When? Yes. When? Okay, uh -huh. I stand and remember hiking, swimming, walking. 
Okay. And the number three. Did she get anything she get, at the mall? Did she get anything at the mall? Okay. Eh, esta no tiene sujeto. She. Y esta está en pasado. So the correct one is she get. She. Uh, no, she went shopping, but she. But she didn't buy didn't anything. Buy. Didn't buy anything. Negative form. I didn't buy Okay, good. This is the bit and the past tense of the verbs. And this is a reading, right? Then why did Jerry go to the basement? Here says, Jerry Carson, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed on it, but it didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Luckily, Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement and he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and he slept on them. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. He called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone, said his father. He came home right away. We're just happy he's all right. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Yes, I have a question. Go ahead, Karen. What is downstairs? Um, el piso de abajo. Okay. Eh, me digo el piso, el, porque sería, si usted está en el quinto piso, sería el cuarto, downstairs. Si está en el cuarto, downstairs, el tercero. O sea, como que dice uno, ahí abajo, abajo. Okay, so is the, the y upstairs the sería arriba. Ajá. Okay. Está arriba, el si está en quinto, el sexto, upstairs. Y si solo hay dos pisos, obviously, right? First and second. ¿Qué más? El basement. Es lo, aquí no hay muchos, pero hay, digamos, algunos, el... El sótano, como la parte, o sea, abajo ya que está abajo del primer piso, basement. Uh, where did Jerry sleep? So, why did Jerry go to the basement? Luckily. Mm -hmm. I uh -huh. had a uh, food to eat. There were some extra groceries at the basement. But it says here, he went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed on it, but he didn't open. So then, to do the laundry, to play Nintendo, to talk to his neighbors. So to then, the laundry. Say he went back upstairs. At the top of the the door was locked. He pushed on it, but it didn't open. He called to his neighbor, but they didn't hear him. In this paragraph, you can find the answer. He went to he called his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Oh, I'm doing what? To do laundry. Okay, uh -huh. downstairs to basement to do laundry. Okay. So what did this one? This one? Where did Jerry sleep? 
very asleep on the floor. That wasn't a bad see, Coco. Why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? Because they didn't know how to perform when the body called him to check. To check on okay. him. Yes. Okay, so they were worried, right? It says here. Okay, it says that we didn't uh, last. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone. Said his father, we came home right away. Immediate, right away is immediately. We're just happy it's all right. Okay. And no, next, that was the last one. That's the end. Okay, boys, that's the, basically, if you see, it's not really complicated, it's easy. Okay, I guess that you won't have problems. Ya, ya alguno tiene su diploma? No yet? Sí. Yes. Ah, okay, very good, excellent. Okay, entonces eh, ya está. Uh -huh. Profesor, Pero, quiero aprovechar este para, uno para agradecerle por este mes de, el curso eh, creo que yo mañana en la noche no voy a estar con ustedes porque es la graduación de mi hijo oh wow congratulations to you and to your son okay <laughs> así es que si no vengo a tiempo no ha sido un placer o sea, estar con ustedes okay. y esperamos más adelante pues volvernos a cruzar en este en este curso ok volvernos a encontrar que bueno carlos lo felicito ya a su hijo y a usted Ah, los logros son buenísimos, ok, ok, pero hay que seguir adelante, ok, eh, que bueno, este, sí, mañana, ya hay algunos que recuerdan, porque mañana, recuerden que tenemos la última clase, ahí vamos a tener otras actividades que hacer, y este, quizás solo voy a hacer un repaso mañana, así de, de la primera, de la primera sección, para que veamos, la, así de lo que vamos con el going to, porque esto veo que está más fresco y, y está, entonces aprovechamos mañana para hacer un repasito de lo que se vio en el, al inicio y lo, lo combinamos con unas actividades y ya con lo que hemos visto también ahora. O sea que sí, tenemos aún material para, para el día de mañana. Y este, bueno, that's all for today, eso es todo por hoy. Eh, thank you very much. Ok, thank you. Uh, see you tomorrow. At the same time, and tomorrow, go and rest. A ver si lo voy a dejar que duerma. No sueñen para que descansen. Ok. Hoy no les dejo tarea. Hoy no vayan a soñar. Duerman tranquilos. Ok, people. Ok. Bye-bye. See you. Good night. Good night.